Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Grant Brogy from the Shrenko, and today I'm coming at you with a quick little deadlift tip that'll hopefully get you through your heavy sets. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. People often ask me, what's harder, the squat or the deadlift? And while I don't know the actual answer, I'd probably lean towards the squat side because I have to ride the thing down as well as bring it back up. But what's interesting for lifters, even experienced lifters, people like me, been lifting for a long time, is that the deadlift plays a little bit more of a role with you mentally. And what I mean by that is that when you first go to exert force and nothing happens, sometimes you just give up. It happens to the best of us. Whereas in the squat, for example, once you bend your knees and break those hips, you're riding that puppy down. I've done videos previously on how to grind and I tell people to count to five Mississippi in their head as they're deadlifting. I find that that helps people to at least exert force for a few seconds because sometimes you'll tug on that bar, the slack will come up, the plates will want to leave the floor and you just give up too soon. But another useful thing, besides learning how to grind, particularly if you're going to pull a set of three or a set of five, it's something that I learned from my buddy Paul Horn. If you haven't seen his book, check it out on the site. I don't know if it was a blog or back in 2015, 14 when I was training with him or exactly when, but at some point he said, never trust rep one. And I just tweeted that the other day because a week or two ago, I went to pull a set. I actually failed it. I failed it. I stopped pulling. I didn't get to five Mississippi. And I looked back at the video and I realized, Grant, you didn't even try this thing. So I went back and I pulled it for five. And again, this can happen to experienced lifters. This can happen to people dealing with loads that they've done before. And the reason I'm talking about today is because it happened to my wife and myself this very morning. For me, I went to go pull my set. I was doing some volume pulls. It was 455 for three sets of five. I went to pull the first rep and it just felt like, oh my goodness, is this thing gonna leave the floor? It did, and it got to the top. And as I got to the top and I was riding it down, all the doubt, you know, the spiritual warfare, it happens in deadlifting world. People start, the devil starts whispering in your ear, you can't do this, just pull a couple singles, Grant. But no, I knew I was supposed to do five and I just said, don't trust rep one. And you know what? Rep two was a little bit smoother. Then I had some confidence. Let me get my third and next thing you know, I finished not only a set of five, but my third set of five. My wife was working out with her headphones on, so she was training and I looked over, she was getting ready to deadlift and pull something. She was supposed to pull 225 for a triple and she went, she exerted force for one second and stopped. And I said, hey, you can do this, just get one rep. She got one, then she got two, then she got three. So the takeaway to this, quick takeaway, don't trust rep one. Make sure that you exert force for long enough to get that bar to go and keep training. Remember, it's supposed to be hard. It's what you signed up for. If you like the video, like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.